Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Potato. This is Democracy 4. We're back with a brand new playthrough, which I think you are going to love, because, frankly, the theming is brilliant. Let's jump in and let's chat about it as we go. We're going to be playing in the US. We're going to be playing with all of the settings just at default. Of course, we are going to rename the party. We're going to re we're going to call this the anti techno Tato party. That's right. At first you may think that we are just a a party that is opposed to strong techno dance music, but no. On the contrary. Um well, I guess we can of our uh, opposed to strong techno uh, dance music, but no, we're not really opposed to techno dance music. What we are opposed to is progress, technological progress to be precise. Over the course of this playthrough, we are going to try our very best to increase the number of farmers and also increase the number of religious people to round about 100%. So farmers, religious people, we want both of them. We also need to slowly but surely strip every element of technology away from the country and we're also not allowed to introduce any policy that furthers technological investment. So I would consider it a mission to try and get technology as low as we possibly Possibly can science funding for example science fund we ain't gonna be funding science no I don't believe in the science no not at all not at all so that's kind of the mission that's kind of the mission is it at all possible to survive in a world where this is the this is the constraints that we have set ourselves I I don't know frankly I I don't know so let's start with a little evaluation of course it's the United States so we've got gridlock straight off the bat I mean look Frankly, road building is road building a, a technological a technological thing. I mean, I don't think it is. However, road building encourages car usage, which is definitely you know technology. I I like my I like my transport if it has four legs. Frankly, um, antisocial behavior. I mean, that's obviously not something that's super great. Alcohol abuse. I mean, I to be honest, I think that we should ban alcohol. I, I think that that's another another thing that we should probably do. Respiratory disease. I think that we will probably be able to decrease respiratory disease because another element, another element of this playthrough is going to try is is, is going to be to try and increase the environment. So I suspect that we will get uh, we will get the environment to a pretty good place, or at least that's where I want to that's where I want to to get us to. Uh, petrol tax? I mean, petrol tax is gonna be going way, 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 way up, for sure. Like, we want to try and absolutely tank car usage. We also want to decrease electric car transition, so we might need to do something about that. I don't know how we get rid of oil. Oil demand... I mean, how do we regress from using oil? I know that, you know, we've got energy efficiency, right? We've got energy industry, and we've got... Where is energy efficiency? It's over here. Uh, it's over here somewhere somewhere it's it's around somewhere anyway energy efficiency we've got which 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 measures how effectively we're able to utilize this one uh how, how effectively we're able to actually utilize energy but as far as i'm aware that is only fed into by oil demand what if i want to have log burning fires that's what i want to know right clean energy subsidies as much as i value clean energy subsidies um we're probably we're probably not gonna fund this because because clean energy subsidies this is technology we don't we don't like technology i guess it doesn't directly affect technology but it does affect energy efficiency anyway it's gonna be a challenge in the first instance solving our deficit situation would of course be good i don't have any qualms about uh about increasing tax i guess maybe you could technically say that internet currency adoption is going to increase and therefore this isn't a strictly a strictly uh, a strictly sort of net technology negative policy but to be honest i think that i'm quite happy to just you know call that call that uh, call that what it is tasers we're going to ditch tasers tasers are far too are far too advanced for uh, for my liking so we're going to get rid of that witness protection program i don't have any issues with a witness protection program a water cannon i feel like that's also a bit technologically advanced but you know we can maybe wipe that out a little bit later on i should point out right now that this game has been updated since the last time we played and so a lot of stuff has actually changed around uh we need to try and get rid of our technology boost don't we technology colleges yeah we're gonna need to try and decrease this as much as possible we can save a lot of money by the way by cutting back on like a huge number of policies that we've got here okay let's go to the next turn hospital overcrowding is gonna is gonna become a big issue um, I have no idea how we are supposed to 
how we are supposed to solve healthcare. Whether we want to solve it with the state healthcare service or the private healthcare service, that will remain to be seen. Uh, crime is going to increase, but that's okay. We can actually decrease crime reasonably easily by just increasing the amount of money that we give to the police. We've got a surplus, which is good. Now, we've got to bear in mind that the global economy is about to peak and it is going to start to decrease at some point. So we've got to be prepared for that. We definitely have to be prepared for that. So, yeah, what has changed in the uh, in the recent update? Well, there's been a whole bunch of changes, actually, that have uh, that have made it in. We'll talk a little bit about some of them. Uh, as we go, but I think, to be honest, it's the, the, the biggest change that I should probably make you aware of is that it's now, it's now more difficult to max out GDP as well as to tank GDP. Obviously, over the course of the last playthrough, we had a pretty, we had a pretty erratic uh, GDP, relative GDP line. So, I mean, it wasn't exactly, wasn't exactly ideal, but, you know, we managed, we managed to survive. Uh, but now that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, strong restrictions on alcohol. Yeah, I like the I like the look of that. Alcohol consumption is going to get is going to get absolutely tanked. To be honest, I feel like I feel like if we're playing thematically, adjusting the alcohol law to strong restrictions is is the right thing to do. Also, this graph, by the way, is uh, is brand new. Oh yeah, that's that's very cool. In fact, interesting, 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 interesting. Yeah, so thematically, uh, adjusting the alcohol law, it's probably the right thing to do. In the short term, though, increasing the alcohol tax to, like, max is probably the financially correct thing to do. I mean, tax isn't... Tax isn't technology, you know? Tax isn't technology. Also, thank you very much to everyone who pointed out in the last playthrough. Thank you just in general to all of the comments. Uh, we we absolutely demolished tobacco usage, and therefore that was why it didn't affect everyone's happiness, because nobody was smoking. And, uh, right now, around about 50% of the population, in fact, yeah, pretty much exactly 50% of the population, actually smoke, which, which kind of makes sense, uh, I guess, so... That's why that's why it didn't end up affecting everyone's happiness because nobody smoked. So I had super high taxes on tobacco, but it didn't matter because nobody smoked. Uh, yeah, I mean, what do we want to do? What's a priority? I feel like getting rid of technology colleges is a good policy to get rid of. It is going to tank education, but but I think that that's okay. It's going to save us a lot of cash. I also need to make sure that we've got you know sufficiently sufficiently strong members of the cabinet to follow me down this really weird path. Because it is gonna, it is gonna be a, a pretty, a pretty rarely trodden path that we're about to, that we're about to tread down. Uh, the uncompetitive economy, the uncompetitive economy that we've got going. How do we, how do we fix this? How the heck do we fix this? I don't even know where we stand on issues like the work safety law. Probably pro employer. So, i.e., no work safety law. I don't know. There's so much to consider. There's so much to consider, especially at the start. You know, where do we want to start? You know, what do we want to... What do we want to do? I mean, the petrol tax. Petrol tax is a good one. It's a very, very good one. It doesn't actually do anything for us. It doesn't actually improve our financial situation. It doesn't improve our opinion with anyone. It only advances the electric car transition. State Postal Service. Oh, yeah, this is a brand new policy, actually. This is a brand, brand, brand new policy. So there was State Postal Service and also, I believe, State Airline. Did I not say that a State Airline should be introduced? I think I did. Either way, I think that it's I think that it's either in the game already or, or it's coming. I'm pretty sure it's a State Airline. Airline tax. Maybe it wasn't a State Airline. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe I'm just going crazy. There were definitely two state-owned... Uh, two state-owned state-owned organizations that were introduced to the game uh, in the latest in the latest patch. I'm sure. I'm sure it was State Airline. I'm sure it was a State Airline. State Telecoms Company? No. State Energy Company? No. Okay. Well, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong then. Maybe I'm wrong. Doesn't doesn't particularly matter. Public services. There's definitely a state something. I'm telling you. I'm te state airline. It, it, it's there. It's in transport. Where it's exactly where you'd expect it to be. Okay. Cool. I just I'm, I just wanted to verify that I wasn't going absolutely bonkers. That's cool. Uh, right. So the environment we still need to improve. Air travel we definitely need to improve. We're gonna want to try and implement the closure of airports 
as soon as we possibly can. Uh, because, of course, we don't like airports. We don't like the the hideous flying beasts that uh, that take off from runways. No, no siree. We are not interested in that, even slightly. Also, I need to bear in mind that I am going to need to adjust my executive term limit if I don't. Uh, if I don't adjust my executive term limit, then we're not going to be able to continue in perpetuity, which is which is an ambition, frankly. Uh, let's bump up spending in the police force. Let's immediately try and crack down on antisocial behavior and alcohol abuse. I, I keep mentioning it, but alcohol abuse costs the country an obscene amount of money. So if we can actually solve the alcohol abuse issue early, then that would be great. Technology colleges, we can't can't get rid of this quite yet. I don't I don't really want to invest any political capital in just turning stuff down when I can just when or when I plan to just cancel it. There are a lot of things by the way that I plan to cancel. The space program, I mean, this is going to cost me 26 political capital to cancel. I guess in the meantime, I should probably I should probably try and, try and turn this all the way down. Yeah, okay, 12 political capital to turn the space program down. The reason that I've uh, the reason that I've varied my opinion with the space program is that it's pretty important that we start cutting down on this technological advantage as soon as we possibly can because uh, we hate it also the private space industry i mean look space scares me space scares me and we need to get on top of it family planning i feel like we absolutely need to get rid of that uh, we also need to very very importantly adjust the secularity of religion this is a this is a policy that we need to uh, that we need to try and adjust I mean, urgently, because we need to try and increase our religious membership, and we need to try and appease uh, the the members the members of that specific voter group as much as we possibly can. We need to make sure that we don't upset liberals too much. We need to make sure that we don't upset liberals too much. Do I have any qualms with the community policing policy? I don't think I do. In fact, I think that I'm quite happy to reduce alcohol uh, abuse and antisocial behavior. Yeah, I'm quite happy to to spend more money on uh, on that food stamps as well. Food stamps sounds sounds good to adjust. We do need to try and we do need to try and counter the downward effect of poverty because I did something. I did something that affected poverty. What did I do? I might have done something that uh, ban ban public smoking. I, I'm going to ban all smoking. Either way, tobacco usage comes down, which is actually going to improve. Which is actually going to improve the uh, the productivity, which is real nice. Okay, so certainly, I think we're running a surplus. I think we're still going to be running a surplus, to be honest. And I'm kind of glad that that is the case. Prison overcrowding is going to become an issue. Uh, is that above the start line? I don't think it is, actually. A potentially bad situation. Okay, I mean, look, crime... Crime might just increase, but that's okay. It's gonna it's gonna decrease when we get antisocial behavior fixed. That's completely fine. Children's food. Regulate children's food. I mean, I guess this is kind of like where I have the latitude to make my own decision. Because I don't really think that this is either a religious or a a farmer's thing. If kids want to eat junk junk food and parents do not mind. Um obesity is a major problem. I'm going to regulate. I'm going to regulate it. Yeah, I think that that's probably what we should do. So parents like that. Health increases, capitalist opinion, and obesity decreases. That's not too bad, actually. We've still got a surplus. We've still got a surplus. That's that's looking good. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's, uh, so that's real nice. Right. Okay, secularity of religion. Man, it requires so much political capital to change this. But I actually do think that I want to change this, like, right away. Because we start, it's going to take 30 turns. It's going to take 30 turns in order to in order to increase religious membership. That is a lot of turns. A, a very, very, very large number of turns. It's going to immediately upset liberals. Yeah, I mean... Maybe I should be careful about upsetting the liberals too much. Because that, that is a pretty big... A pretty big decrease to their opinion of me. The thing that you can bear in mind is that we can gated uh, gated communities, for example. We can get rid of gated communities here. We can get rid of gated communities. We can get rid of that negative liberal opinion. Yeah, I think that I I think that I want to do that. So we can actually use we can actually use the law and order policies because a lot of these law and order policies we probably want to strip out. For example, body cameras. I don't believe in that technology. 
and therefore I'm probably going to want to get rid of that. Okay, that was a very, very bad example because it's one of the only policies that liberals actually like. What other policy? Uh, speed cameras? Speed cameras we're going to be getting rid of, although liberals don't care about that either. Uh, rubber bullets? Rubber bullets we're definitely going to get rid of. I mean, why on earth? Why on earth, other for other than for an achievement, would you would you want rubber bullets? But that's a very, very large amount of liberal opinion. So I think that we're actually going to ditch that. Maybe not next turn, but certainly certainly at some point for sure, it's uh, it's it's going to be essential. Farmers, liberal, trade unionist, commuter, self-employed, capitalist, religious patriot. I mean, we basically want to reshuffle our cabinet and get as many religious people, farmer people in as we uh, as we possibly can. Okay, a deadly virus outbreak. This always seems to happen uh, in US playthroughs. Maybe it's just because of the times that we live in and whatnot. Rather, uh, rather that they sort of line up with, uh, with current events. I don't mean the US in general. I just mean, you know, well, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? You know what I'm talking about. The, uh, the big C, but not that big C, the other big C. I think it happens in UK playthroughs as well. I don't know. I'd have to check that. Okay, science funding. Can we decrease science funding, please? How much is that going to cost to decrease? Five political capital to decrease is, is quite steep, actually. Also, how are we doing with alcohol abuse? We're starting to get a handle on alcohol abuse, which is great. Antisocial behavior. We're making a real, real... We're making real headway on that. That's great. Pollution is actually starting to decrease, but that's because our GDP actually decreased, I believe. Yeah. So GDP is going to continue a downward trend until until we get a get a handle on it there what do we want to solve what do we want to solve here we're not going to have a surplus next turn i i i'm positive absolutely positive absolutely positive that we will not have a surplus next turn to be honest i i think maybe we want to take this down to down to the lowest level possible but again we got to be careful about liberal opinion we got to be real real careful about liberal opinion People are already starting to dislike me, and I, I really, frankly, hate that. CCTV cameras? I mean, we can scale this right back. But again, I want the political capital to cancel the policy. Press freedom? I'm, I'm fine with press freedom, to be honest. I'm absolutely fine with press freedom. Increases liberal membership, which does kind of perturb me. But that's okay. Narcotics? I mean, look, we are going to absolutely cut back on narcotics, but we're not going to do that until we have a, a proper handle on the, uh, on the liberal situation. We need, to, we need to try and decrease the liberal membership as much as we can. It's actually starting to increase. There are a lot of liberals who are fanatically opposed to me. Hmm. Race Discrimination Act? I might need to scale this back purely because... I might need to scale this back purely because it increases liberalism or li membership of the liberal group. Which I really don't want to do. Police force is slowly but surely increasing, which is good. We're increasing the spending there. I mean, what about a brand new policy? Can we introduce a brand new policy? Maybe one that would, that would be okay? That would be approved of by liberals? I mean helicopter money apart from the fact that i don't know what a helicopter is do i particularly care about helicopter money i don't actually think that i'm completely aghast to the idea of helicopter money an antibiotics ban is is certainly an idea we're almost certainly going to develop that sort of situation next turn anyway We've got to be oh so flippin' careful about uh, about that. Also, we should go into Law and Order, and we should have a little look see. We should have a little look see to see if there are any if there are any policies. Uh, public public services actually, yeah. Um, we should have a little look see to see if there are any policies that encourage religious membership. Organ donation is is not that sort of thing. Uh, public religious broadcasts, yeah. That's that's exactly the sort of thing that we're looking for. Ban foreign church services. Yeah, that's another thing that we're sort of looking for. Uh, force military... Sorry, force political military religious oath. Yeah, that's something else that we want to... That we want to... That we want to implement. I feel like that should already be implemented, right? Is that not a thing? Public religious broadcast, though. Let's do public religious broadcasts in the first instance. It's going to take 16 flipping turns in order to in order to convert all these people to the religious group. 
Man, that's that's irritating. All right, we need to we need to next turn. Next turn, we absolutely need to try and appease the liberals as much as we can. We're about to be struck by what I think is a big, big, big red dot, which is going to decrease health a lot. GDP, by the way, yeah, a little bit of a fall there, but that's okay. We've got the we've got the the helicopter money to implement at some point. GDP continuing to fall very, very bad. Unemployment is increasing. That's okay. Hospital overcrowding is going to definitely become a thing because of the increased healthcare demand due to the, uh, uh, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, the, 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 the bacteria, the bacteria thing. You know what I'm talking about. That's, that's what happened. That's what happened. That's what I'm going to blame. Right. Anything, anything else. I mean, quantitative easing is, is again, not bad. Small business grants. I feel like small business grants would be okay, right? Small business grants would be would be okay to implement. It's going to cost me twenty six billion, so I can't exactly can't exactly do that. I also need to cancel this policy if it's all possible, because only patriots and conservatives like it, and I don't care about patriotic or conservative opinion. Alcohol law. Yeah, we do want to adjust that, but not quite yet. What else have we got? I mean, gender discrimination act. Anything that upsets liberals in this policy is is ripe to be is ripe to be removed. Water cannons, for example, yeah, let's absolutely get rid of water cannons. What else have we got? Rubber bullets. We should get rid of rubber bullets too. I mean, look, that in itself is just going to increase liberal opinion by a heck of a lot, like a huge, huge, huge amount. Um, tear gas. We're going to cut out tear gas as well. I mean, why would the policy literally just affect liberal opinion? I I get it for the sake of an achievement, but really, really. Okay, threat assessment wise, threat assessment wise, we're we're in a good place. We're in a very, very good place. I'm very, very happy about that. A patriot or or a liberal? I'm gonna I'm gonna pick somebody who appeases the liberals. Uh, I don't know what patriotic opinion is. Patriotic opinion is maxed out. So, I mean, you know, we don't need to worry about patriotic opinion at all. Religious membership should be on the up and up. That's starting to increase. Starting to increase for sure. The space program, yeah, that's right. We're only getting telescopes. We don't like, we don't like even telescopes. We're gonna cancel the whole flipping space program. How's our technology looking? Irritatingly high. Intellectual property rights seem to be sustaining the vast majority of our technological dominance. What? Meta commentary about reality? Oh wow, potato. You've stepped up your game. Uh, right, antisocial behavior order. Uh, nope, that's not what it is. Antisocial behavior, in my mind, is followed by order and ASBO, as it is referred to in the United Kingdom. Anyway, antisocial behavior has uh, has ended there. Doctor strike has also ended. Hospital overcrowding has increased, but that's fine. That's completely fine. In fact, this is a pretty good all round turn. Big recovery in GDP, which is good. Health, wowzers, huge, huge, huge increase in health there. Really, really good. Massive decrease in crime, mostly because the antisocial behavior nonsense ended, and unemployment as well decreases, which is pretty darn good. People smuggling, we need to address that in just a second. We got a little bit of a budget, uh, a little bit of a budget deficit, but that'll probably flatten out next turn, I would imagine. I'm not going to worry about it too, too, too much. We could actually, no, we can't actually adjust our, adjust our term length as much as I would dearly wish to do such a thing. We cannot quite yet. I think, I think I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to bump it up in sections. I don't think that I'm going to be able to force emergency powers and, you know, get 68 political capital and do it all at once. Yeah, I think that that's, I think that that's a little bit out of the question. I don't know if the emergency powers uh, situation has been changed, but I suspect that they probably have. I suspect that they probably have. Pollution controls, we definitely do want to step up pollution controls for sure. All right, liberal opinion. Where's liberal opinion? Liberal opinion has actually increased quite a lot. Yeah, again, you know, we're just on the hunt for policies, for policies in law and order that we can that we can just remove. Uh, tear gas, for example, we're going to remove that. We're absolutely going to remove that. I think helicopter money is is a good idea at this moment in time. If we've still got the, we do still indeed have the political capital to do just that. So I think that this is exactly what we're going to do. Helicopter money is the slightly better of the two of the two policies. Uh, the quantitative easing and uh, helicopter money. Of the, the two inflation-causing policies is what I meant to say. 
So helicopter money and quantitative easing both increase inflation and GDP. Helicopter money is the only one that decreases poverty. Quantitative easing uh, impacts capitalist opinion for the most part. So if we implement if we implement helicopter money, we'll probably be probably be in a pretty good place. Clean energy subsidies. We need to cut this. We need to cut this. We've talked about this already, but we will we will do that in time. Work safety law. I mean, again, I've discussed this. I I, I really don't know where. I stand on this? I don't know where I should stand on this, you know? Religious, religious opinion. Okay. FGM? Imprisonment? So do we what? We want to cancel this policy again? Is that what we want to do? It doesn't really affect... It doesn't really affect... Religious opinion... When it's at zero, which, okay, not entirely sure that I understand that, but that's that's okay. Okay, so we want to remove that or basically move it down to zero. Family planning, we absolutely want to remove, right? We absolutely want to remove, but we can't do it this turn. We'll have to we'll have to wait a little bit. Food standards agency, are there any issues with bumping up the quality of the food that we have? I don't. I don't think that that's the case. Although, 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 the Food Standards Agency upsets farmers, and therefore I suspect that there are probably pretty large lobbying interests within my community to uh, to cut out the Food Standards Agency. Okay, I'm going to allow them to stay, uh, people smuggling, because liberal opinion is a little bit low. How's religious membership looking? It's looking a bit large. A bit large. How can I? How can I cut religious? Uh, not religious membership. Liberal membership. I just can't get my words straight today. It's a disaster. Okay. National team has won the World Cup. As if we needed more patriotic opinion. We we don't. By the way. Health. Another huge increase. Unemployment. Nice big decrease there. Poverty. Massive monstrous decrease thanks to helicopter money. I think helicopter money is a broken policy. By the way. Just in case. Just in case you need my my opinion on the policy. I think it's very very good. Very very broken. Uh, the global economy is is doing okay. It's doing okay. It's going to get worse, but that's completely fine. We're running like a tiny, 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 tiddly little deficit, to be honest. As soon as we fix alcohol abuse, which will be next turn, excellent. We're going to save ourselves 17 billion, and that's going to put us back in surplus uh, in surplus territory, which is which is quite nice. Okay, religious religious membership, religious membership. It's it's going to increase. It's going to increase, and it's going to increase very very rapidly once we once we get going. Um, gender transition, it's something that we want to cancel, it's something that we want to, that we want to get rid of, but it's something that we're going to have to get rid of later. We just need, we just need so much more political capital. We've got a max of 38. 38. Intellectual property? Do we just want to cut this entirely? Um, yeah, I want to cut it because of the... I want to cut it because of the technology that it brings. But, I mean, apart from that, I don't really have a good reason. I tell you what, what might be a better... What might be a better idea is to introduce an automation tax... I think an automation tax is a is a little bit of a better idea. So we're going to decrease technology, decrease capitalist opinion, increase trade unionist opinion, uh, and most importantly, bring in just shy of 50, 50 billion dollars there. I'm a little bit worried that this might feed or fuel the corporate exodus, although I'm going to hope that that doesn't actually happen. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But certainly with, with 50 billion coming in, that's that's not too bad at all. Biofuel subsidies. I mean, look, this this is something that we are absolutely going to fund to the absolute max, uh, for sure. The reason that we're going to fund it to the absolute max is because farmer opinion and farmer membership is uh, is going to be increased by by the policy. Uh, speaking of farmer membership, it's actually gone down. Okay, so we we need to run a pretty a pretty tight ship here. We cannot increase, we cannot increase the number of people that have plant-based diets, because if we do, if we do, then we will run the risk of decreasing membership 
of farmers, which is a big old pain in the backside. So biofuel subsidies, we need to we need to increase. And then also agriculture subsidies, I want to increase too. So that effectively, that effectively ends up offsetting the increase in the price of food that we are going to see by boosting, by boosting biofuel subsidies. Again, I don't really believe in biofuel subsidies, but again, I'm going to assume that there are pretty heavy lobbying interests in the, uh, in the community that lead to me, that lead to me funding a policy like that. Really? Credit rating has been downgraded? I'm a little bit surprised at that, to be honest. I suspect that the vast majority of the decrease in GDP comes from the fact that the global economy is having a little bit of a temper tantrum. But our debt to GDP ratio is still only at 92%, so we're only going to be paying a slightly larger rate of interest this time, which is fine. Okay, we got a massive, massive, massive surplus. I'm a little bit worried that corporate exodus is going to become a thing. Uh, I hope that it doesn't become a thing, obviously, but I don't want to tweak taxes uh, anymore, just in case. Just in case that does become a thing. Technology is finally starting to come down, which is which is great. Okay. Test tubes, how much is that going to save? It's going to save us 7 billion if we if we spend 5 political capital on that. Liberals and farmers, trade uni trade unionists and commuters. Trade unionists should like me to be honest. I feel like they should. Oh, they hate the gig economy? They hate the gig economy. I mean, we can... We can get rid of the gig economy. We can get rid of the gig economy, like, really, really easily. Do I want to do that? I guess I kind of do. I guess I kind of do want to get rid of the gig economy. Because the gig economy is not a... Is not a real economy, and I don't believe in it. It also increases car usage by... Okay, the graph is, like, phasing through reality. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, so I guess we probably do want to get rid of the gig economy. Is it really a problem, though? Not really. Uncompetitive economy, I do want to get this. I do want to get this tackled. There are a couple of policies that we can that we can faff around with there. Uh, but yeah, I want to cancel family planning. Let's get rid of family planning. Excellent. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Food stamps. Is poverty an issue at this moment in time? Poverty is not an issue. Poverty is not an issue at all. Health is a little bit of a problem. We're going to see a little bit of a decrease because I, I cancelled family planning. Education as well. I feel like we should just... I feel like we should just try and introduce an education policy. Is there a... Um, is there a religious school? School prayers. Is there like a religious school... Policy. I don't think there is. Yeah, okay. I guess there... I guess there's not. I guess there's not. Compulsory foreign language uh, class. Let's actually do that, because that's going to give uh, a nice big boost to education. Decreases racial tension. Decreases patriotic opinion. But that's fine. I mean, look, patriot opinion is, is pretty sky high at this moment in time, which is pretty darn great. The private space industry is very, very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. We need to try and we need to try and get on top of that. Citizenship tests. This doesn't upset liberals. Uh, sorry, this does upset liberals, but it doesn't upset religious people, which is fine. Disability benefit. It doesn't really make much of a difference to the to the state of affairs, does it? Popularity, by the way, has increased past the point of fifty percent, which is really really nice. Capitalist opinion. We'd look to we'd look to try and fix capitalist opinion. There's definitely a long way that we can go to fix capitalist opinion. How do we fix this uncompetitive economy nonsense? By increasing productivity? I think by increasing productivity. Can I just increase the alcohol tax? Increasing the alcohol tax by a lot would probably would probably definitely increase productivity. What else do I need to try and fix? The respiratory disease? I doubt that we're going to see the respiratory disease ending anytime soon. Tobacco usage. Tobacco usage. Tobacco usage and alcohol usage are both a problem for productivity. Health decreases because we ended family planning. Yeah, I know. I know that that was going to happen. Uh, obesity. Obesity, obesity, obesity. How do we fix obesity? It's a great question, actually. 
honestly, car usage, getting car usage to come down would be would be fantastic. Ending road building would be would be really really good. It's going to decrease motorist opinion. It's going to cost me 21 political capital to do that. That's a lot of political capital. Not quite sure that I want to commit that much political capital to just irritating motorists even more. Motorists already hate me just about as much as as much as they possibly can. Uh, the car tax. Farmers really dislike that. Farmers really dislike the car tax. Is that a problem though? I, I don't necessarily think that that's the problem. That's that that's a specific problem. We've still got a very very large surplus, which is really really good. Okay, I need to sort out. I need to sort out alcohol tax, and I need to sort out tobacco tax. Yeah. 16 political capital. And alcohol tax, we can also increase that as well. So that's not going to be very much. But that's at least going to start alcohol consumption and tobacco uh, tobacco consumption coming down. Positive discrimination. Ooh. Does it matter? Does it matter who... I guess we can pass the law. Yeah, that's fine. It literally only upsets conservatives, so that's completely fine. Ooh, irritatingly accidentally ended up increasing membership of the liberal group. Which I guess isn't super bad, because liberals don't exactly hate me at this moment in time. The good news is that the threat assessment has reached new lows, which is which is great, actually. It's very, very good to see. I was a little bit worried that we might end up upsetting people, but that's fine. Okay, GDP tanks for a turn. That's undoubtedly going to lead to uh, a decrease in the credit rating, but that's fine. Unemployment is up for one turn. Health is actually up. That's completely fine. Poverty is up by a little bit, but that's okay. Most of this is as a result of the, the decrease in GDP. That's something that we can definitely live with. Uh, yeah, technology colleges, we're going to want to get rid of that. We're going to want to decrease science funding as much as we possibly can. We are working on it. We are working on it. We are getting there. Don't even worry about it. We're we're fine. We're fine thus far. How's pollution looking? Pollution might actually get to a a good place next turn. I need to get car usage down. I need to fix okay, first of all, I need to fix the gig economy. That's immediately gonna stop like what? Twelve percent? Yeah, twelve percent of twelve percent of cars. I wonder if it's maybe worth us decreasing. The payroll tax? Would that make would that make much of a difference? It would Maybe we just get rid of the payroll tax entirely. I know, I know, I know, I know. This seems like a crazy play. But the payroll tax is like the crux of all of our problems, right? So it feeds into the uncompetitive economy, it feeds into the gig economy, it gives us extra industrial automation, which under normal circumstances is good, but under the specific circumstances of this playthrough is bad. Uh, it also decreases GDP and depresses wages. You know what? We're going to cancel the policy. Five political capital to cancel. That's an absolute bargain right there. So that puts us at a massive, massive, massive deficit of about a hundred billion dollars which I'm not exactly over the moon about. Maybe we should try and increase a whole bunch of other policies to try and account for that. I mean, car tax is one. Car tax is, is, is definitely one that we would benefit from. Car tax and no doubt, uh, what is it, petrol tax? Petrol tax brings in like a lot of money, or it can bring in a lot of money. Although it can also decrease GDP by rather a lot. Yeah, okay. All right, I think that that was fine. Pollution controls, do we want to do we want to tweak pollution controls just a little bit? I tell you what, I kind of do. I kind of do want to improve the environment just a smidgen more. Yeah, okay, car usage, road building. Yeah, I need to get rid of road building. I say I need to get rid of road building. I can't cancel the policy. I can take it down to zero. Oh boy. Okay, so our debt to GDP ratio is now 141%. I think that's technically where we are right here. But next turn, you can see it's basically going to return to normal. However, I still don't think that's in uh, in short enough order in order to account for the fact that we're probably going to see we're probably going to see our our, our our rating decreased, but that's okay. 
popularity is way, 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 way up, which is nice. Liberal opinion is still quite high. Religious opinion is not as high as I anticipated. However, religious membership is definitely increasing and it's definitely picking up pace. It doesn't really look like it here, but it's definitely, it's definitely there. And I do indeed like to see it. Okay, so first and foremost, probably alcohol tax, right? Either that or alcohol law. You know what? Let's let's adjust the alcohol law. It's going to cost less political capital. It's also not going to increase poverty. Poverty is already in a pretty good position, so let's not tweak it too, too much. Uh, we're not going to be bringing in any additional tax revenues, but that's fine. That's completely fine. Car tax. Yeah, I mean, we want to increase that more. We also want to increase the petrol tax more as well. It's just not, it's just not that good, though. It's just not that good. It just doesn't give us that much money. Is this perhaps a time to decrease road building? I mean, look, there's money to be saved. There's money to be saved on all of these policies that advance us technologically, right? There's definitely money to be saved. Okay, next turn, the proof is going to be in the pudding, right? That's, that's where the proof is. Do we want to deploy the troops or not? I don't think that we do. Do not deploy troops. Okay, a decrease in oil supply, what is that going to lead to? It's going to increase the price, which will lead to a decrease in GDP. And also an increase in food price. To be honest, we can just modulate the food price by, by, funding, the, um, by funding the farmers a little bit more. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's exactly what we're going to do. Because farmers, farmers will love us by the time that we're, that we're done with this game. Oh, hey, 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 hey. What a flippin' turn. Okay, pollution has ended. Gridlock has ended. That's excellent. The gig economy has ended. Credit rating downgraded. I mean, look, I, I wish I could say that I didn't expect that, but I did expect that. Uh, our, our credit rating is now gonna be... What's our, uh, what's our debt to GDP ratio? Our credit rating is now A. Our debt to GDP ratio is 107%. To be honest, only a deficit of 164 billion. I think that that's a figure that we could be proud of. How's car usage looking? Car usage should be on the way down. It really, really, really should be. Like, all the way down. We should... We should be moving it right the way down to zero. Okay, let's move it not the way right down to zero, because that's going to cost 21 political capital. Let's move it to, like, a micro, micro, micro millimeter above zero, which is only going to cost 11 political capital. So that's pretty decent, if indeed I do say so myself. Uh, the uncompetitive economy, are we are we going to see that ending anytime soon? Probably not. We need to see a little bit more of an increase to productivity before we're going to see that end. Respiratory disease is looking irritatingly resilient to all of my attempts to try and fix it. I'm really trying to get car usage down, though. Perhaps we want to try and subsidize buses. No, we don't want to subsidize buses. Unfortunately, there is no there is no opportunity to subsidize uh, horse-drawn carts. I wish that I could do that. I very, very, very much wish that I could do that. Cycling campaign? Yeah, you know what? A cycling campaign seems good. Congestion charging? Congestion charging also seems pretty good. Carpooling campaign? I don't want to encourage... I don't want to encourage anyone to use cars. So, I mean, I'm not going to need a carpooling campaign when nobody's using a flipping car. Congestion charging can bring in 1.8 billion. It's almost not worth it. I, you know what? Give me a cycling campaign. A cycling campaign seems entirely reasonable. It costs a billion, but a billion, a billion here, a billion there. It's totally fine. All right, let's have a little appraisal of the financial situation at this moment in time. So, where are we spending our cash? We're spending our cash on the military, to be honest. We're spending our cash on the military. If I was to cut the military just in general, if I was to just absolutely cut the military, would that have any crazy effects? It would have a crazy effect on the Patriots. It it really, really would. Membership of the Patriot group is 8.9%. 8.9% of the population. National Armed Forces Week. I feel like we should cancel this policy, right? Yeah, cancel this policy. Cancel this policy to start decreasing the number of patriots that we have in the country. And then we're just going to cut military spending. And then that's going to basically be the entirety of the deficit made up. 
just like that. Food Standards Agency, we want to slowly but surely just start to scale this back. Although, even at the very minimum, farmers are still upset. So, we're not actually going to change until we can get the maximum amount of political capital that we need to uh, delete the policy entirely. Hostages rescued. Brilliant. Patriotic opinion is back up, which is fantastic because that's exactly what we want to see happening. Citizenship tests. Uh, this doesn't upset religious people. This doesn't upset religious people. I mean, that's fine. We can... We can leave this alone. It doesn't actually... It doesn't make a huge difference. And unless we have the ability to cancel this policy, in my opinion, we're still going to be able to see a little bit of an increase to the patriotic membership, which means that it's just not worth us scaling it down. Anyway, how's GDP looking? GDP is holding roughly steady, which is which is very, very good. We're about to see a water shortage. And that is entirely because we have so many flippin' farmers. Right. Big old yikes. Big old yikes. We've got so many farmers that we're going to have a water shortage immediately. Really? Really? That quickly? We're going to be developing a water shortage that flippin' quickly? Good news is, though, security assessment is telling me that we're doing a pretty darn good job. Military spending, I mean, that's going to save us... It's going to save us 50 billion right there. I... I want... I want 22 political capital. Okay, we've got 21. Thank you, video game. I appreciate that. Maybe we just go straight to the next turn. Hmm... That would mean that we'd lose a one or two political capital. I feel like maybe I should uh, tweak some values here. Airline tax. Four political capital to do that. Eh, it's not a bad idea. We don't believe in airlines though, so I don't know why I'd need... Don't know why I'd need an airline tax. Uh, let's have a little look at the books again. Okay, debt interest is a big, a big amount of our payments at this moment in time. Child benefit. Is child benefit really that important? We could cut child benefit. We could absolutely cut child benefit. It doesn't really impact health or education. It impacts liberal opinion, which is probably the most important policy, or the most important voter group here. Because capitalist opinion and liberal opinion are actually both quite high on this occasion. I think, I think that, you know, cutting child benefit is... is probably fine. It might be something that we want to scale up in the future. It might be something that we want to scale up in the future. But, you know, for now, let's not worry about it. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to scale We need to scale down military spending, which is exactly what we're going to do. My cabinet is actually getting on board with the crazy policies that I'm coming out with, which is, which is wonderful. Liberals and farmers. Look, farmers flipping love me, dude. Farmers flipping love me. I'm telling you. Hey, look at that. Credit rating upgraded, which is going to lead to an increase of GDP. Nice. It's very, very small, but it's definitely there. There's a budget deficit of 50 billion. But 50 billion is not much. 50 billion is not much to overcome. Especially once we just, like, absolutely tank. There we go. Absolutely tank military spending. Our level of employment is going to increase dramatically, by the way. Not to mention that we are finally going to be able to get rid of this private space industry nonsense. Which is very, very good because we hate that. Uh, technological advantage is also decreasing very, very slightly. Is it possible for me to get rid of the uncompetitive economy before the before the technological advantage ends? The reason that I say that is it's going to be very, very difficult to get rid of the, the uncompetitive economy if we don't have that little extra boost to productivity. I just need a slight extra little boost to productivity video game. Illegal drug consumption? I mean, look, I... I want to I want to stamp down on that. Again though, religious religious people don't care about it. Okay, all right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Either way, we're now going to be we're now going to be in surplus territory, I suspect. Although I do worry that we are going to be in negative happiness with the patriot group territory. Which I'm a little bit perturbed about. Okay, GDP, big increase to GDP there. I don't know what the heck happened. Uh, is it the global economy that's doing slightly better? No, the global economy is still doing very, very badly. The good news is, though, the very, very good news is... Oh, look at that. A minor budget deficit of only 63 million. That is something that I can absolutely tolerate. 
That's that's totally fine. Self-employed and capitalist. Self-employed opinion is is pretty low actually, but that's that's fine. Twenty-six political capital to play with on this uh, on this occasion. Can I adjust my term limit? No, it's thirty-four that I need for that. Thirty-four that I need for that. Okay. Okay. That's that's fine. That's completely fine. Next turn, as long as we see GDP growth, we should be we should be fine. This uncompetitive economy modifier is so close to, to ending. Can I just ditch can I ditch corporation tax? Twelve political capital. Let's not spend twelve political capital on it. Let's spend six political capital. Yeah, that's pretty perfect, actually. So, 19 political capital is going to give me, what, a surplus of 2 political capital? So, as long as I spend at least 2 political capital on something election-related, this turn, I'll probably be fine. Uh, it's going to cost 9 political capital to give a speech. How am I doing in terms of popularity? I'm doing well in terms of popularity. I, I think I'm doing fine. I think I'm doing fine. Support democracy protests? Sure. Sure, I'll support democracy protests. That's okay. Foreign opinion and foreign investment is... It's giving me good money. Giving me good money, but unfortunately... I've got to... I've got to take the side of democracy. Right. What else do I want to change? I did say I've got two political capital to spend. You know what? Let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about the one or two political capital that I'm going to lose. Let's just... Let's just look forward to having a maximum number of uh, the maximum number of political capital points on the next turn. Richest company pays no tax. All right, I mean that's fine, I guess. Uh, the irritating thing is that patriotic opinion is gonna is gonna decrease. Um, enterprise investment scheme. To be honest, I'm not against this policy. You've got a demand. You you want to implement? You want me to implement a Mars program? You're, you're asking a government who has made the destruction of technology the forefront of its economic policy. You're asking that government, that very same government, to introduce a Mars program policy? You've got to be flipping joking. You've got to be flipping joking. All right, the environment is continuing to get worse, which is, uh, which is a bit of a concern, but that's okay. Right. So we still have a little, a little bit of a deficit, but that's completely fine. I think I want to, on this turn, just get the executive term limit up. Let's get the executive term limit up. We'll spend the 34 political capital that's necessary. It sucks to do, but, you know, we, we have to do it, frankly. Uh, the uncompetitive economy is going to end next turn. It's going to end next turn. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. That is, that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and so that means that the private space industry and the technological advantage can end without me really caring. Fine. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. How's our rate of inflation, actually? It's leveled out at a very, very appropriate level. Totally, totally, totally fine with that. Okay, let's see. Electioneering, what do we want to do? Let's have a little appraisal of the situation. Activist boost to voter turnout, 27%. That's very, very good. I've got over 100 million members of the uh, of the anti techno Tato party. That's right. Still one of the greatest names for a political party ever, in my humble opinion. Human development. I do want to raise human development. I will make that promise. I will make that promise. Secularity of education. You bet your bottom dollar that I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be raising that at all. Narcotics. I ain't going to be raising narcotics. Public religious broadcasts. I ain't cutting that. Alcohol law cut by twenty five percent. I ain't cutting that. Cut income tax. I probably could make that promise, although I don't think that I will. Uh, yeah, so my my opposition, the new left, are unfortunately a little bit ahead of the game in terms of fundraising, but that's okay. Also, who who's going to abandon me? Oh yeah, the Mars, the Mars program, dude. I'm going to refuse the policy because, of course, I don't want a Mars program. I don't want to pay for a Mars program. I don't want a Mars program. I don't want none of it. Okay, let's fight our very first election. Let's see, let's see how the, how the Amish take over has worked out. anti techno Tato party. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, it turns out that it's entirely possible. Entirely possible to do. Holy cow. Okay, health has somehow 
with our old methods of treating of treating uh, treating health issues, you know, with 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 herbs from the woods and whatnot, turns out that it and it actually works. Lifespan increased. Getting away from computer screens has increased all of our lifespan. Okay, interesting. Uh, when it comes to monetary and fiscal policy, though, I mean, I'm I'm at the forefront. I'm at the forefront of innovation. I really am. Introducing helicopter money, literally, I don't want to say that it saved the day. Definitely improved things substantially, though. There ain't no crime. There ain't no, well, there is still a little bit of alcohol consumption, but that's probably some black market stuff. Almost, almost nothing. Currency strength, who cares about currency strength? Oil demand, way down, which is great, because, I mean, we don't need, we don't need any oil. We don't need oil. Oil, we don't believe in oil. It's just not something that we believe in. Tobacco usage is on the way down. Honestly, a little bit surprised that we haven't been able to get more of a handle on tobacco usage. Yeah. Industrial automation is way down and continuing to decrease, which is very, very good. Very, very happy with that. Car usage. Car usage is also down. We want to improve... I say we want to improve car usage. We want to improve the reduction in car usage. We want to continue to drive the usage of cars down. The faster, the better. Respiratory disease is going to be a good litmus test, right? Because the environment is affected, I believe, by... Car usage. Yeah, it is affected by car usage. So if we can decrease car usage, then that will have a positive effect on alleviating the respiratory disease. It'll also have a positive effect on the environment, which will also help the respiratory disease, right? So if we solve the high number of cars, then uh, then we will absolutely, absolutely sort the situation out, which I uh, which I think is, is pretty darn good. I don't think that I want to reshuffle anyone in my cabinet, to be honest. I, I don't think that that's a thing that I, uh, that I want to worry about. GDP is now in the flipping green. Holy cow. How is this happening? How is my GDP so good? I, I, I really didn't intend for it to be to be this great. Um, I kind of anticipated. I kind of anticipated having to struggle a little bit for GDP over the course of this playthrough. That has not transpired to be the case, though. Uh, the uncompetitive economy modifier has ended. I guess that's where our little spike in GDP came from. You need to talk to me. You care about prisoner voting. I guess that's probably something that we can implement. Uh, the water shortage is definitely going to end next turn. And to be honest, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal at all. I don't think that it's something that we need to worry about at all. Uh, the thing that you've also got to bear in mind, crazily enough, the global economy is in a, a, state of, a state of chaos at the moment. And our GDP is flying high. So as the global economy improves, our, our relative GDP is going to increase as well. But you know what? We're going to have to see that magical miracle recovery of the global economy in the next episode. Because that is it for now. Holy cow, what an episode. And what an interesting what an interesting start to what I think is going to be a very, very interesting series. Ladies and gents, it's been an absolute pleasure to play Democracy 4 for you today. The Amish Takeover will, of course, continue in the next episode. But for now, if you're interested in helping out the channel, check out the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Orbital Potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nana Nana and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.